this is a huge honor. Uh, since I was a little kid, I'd always dreamed about winning this award and growing up in the Marini community and having someone like Ryan Martin, who was a fo former Mr. Maine winner, having someone like him to look up to and having him as a role model has been a huge key to my success. Uh, I also just want to congratulate the other two finalists, Parker and Peyton, on their outstanding careers and being named Mr. Maine finalists. That's huge. Uh, they're really good players, and they're also really good guys. Uh, I've had the pleasure of playing with Parker these past two years on our main Renegades AAU team. <clears throat> he'd always get inside and seem to grab rebounds over these 6'5 kids, and he'd always lay out on the floor, and he's definitely one of the best shooters in the state. Peyton, I've been playing AAU ball against Peyton since, like, 5th or 6th grade, and he was always the kid on the other team that we'd have to worry about. Uh, he's really strong, quick, athletic, and can finish over anyone. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people that I want to thank tonight. Thank you. Thank for making tonight possible. Uh, first, I just want to say thank you to all my teammates. Throughout these past four years, I've been on some great teams with some, some great guys, and we've had a lot of team success. And without all that team success, there would be no individual success. Um, I've made some great bonds and friendships that will last a lifetime, and I don't I don't consider these guys just teammates, but I consider them family. I also want to thank all my coaches throughout the years. Coach Schmidt, Coach Carr, and Coach Bolander, thank you for making my first two years of high school basketball some of the best of my life. And thank you for taking a chance on the five foot two, 100 pound freshman. Um, just, I remember that feeling that I got when you guys told me that I was going to make, var I was making varsity as a freshman, and I won't ever forget that. Uh, Coach Simons, thank you for sticking by my side, teaching me how to play the game the right way, and always having confidence in me. Um, I'll always be proud to be a Maine Renegade. <clears throat> to my dad, Coach Marty, and Coach Labrie, thank you for being some of the most supportive, caring, and competitive assistant coaches a team could ever ask for. I'm sure we'll all remember Marty's dances after we, a big win in the locker room. Um, and thank you... A huge thank you to Coach Mag. Uh, he was the best coach I've ever had in my life. Definitely the most intense I've had, and he might be the most intense I'll ever have, but that's just because there's no coach in this state that wants to win more than he does, so a huge thank you to him. Um, I could I could go on forever giving out thank yous to everyone who's help, helped me get here tonight, <clears throat> so I'm just going to keep it short. Um, I want to say thank you to Ben Tier and Toby Martin for being great trainers, uh, Greg Cormier for all the memories as a misfit, Ryan Martin for being my role model, Ryan Medor and Joe Edwards for letting me use their gyms, uh, my middle school coach, Tom, uh, Coach Radcliffe, my uncle Corey for being there every step of the way, Mark Reben for being the cash whisperer, Dave Poulin and our AD Brant Remington, and many others. I can't thank you guys enough for all you guys have done for me. Uh, most importantly, I want to thank my family. My grandparents are some of the most supportive, caring, and loving people on this planet, and they want nothing more than for me to be successful and accomplish my goals. <clears throat> my little brother, Keegan, might be the, might have the most raw talent I've seen. Um, if we could just get him to grow a little bit and maybe drink a protein shake or two, he's going to be dangerous these next, these next few years, so watch out. Um, to my mom... She's always been there for me no matter what, whether I need her to cook one of their homemade frozen pizzas in the oven or just have her listen to me complain about how much I don't want to do homework. She's always been there for me, and I and I can't thank her enough for that. <clears throat> um, and a huge thank you to my dad for being my biggest fan. Um, if it wasn't for you putting a ball in my hands at two years old, who knows where I'd be right now. Uh, you've literally, you've truly been there every step of the way, whether it's rebounding for me, pushing me, working out with me, taking me fishing, or just you know, laughing with me, or just chilling on the couch watching the Celtics game with me. I know me and all the guys are very thankful to call you one of our best friends. Um, to finish this off, I just want to say thank you to the entire Marinico community. I am very proud to be a Maranica Black Bear, and the Maranica community is one of the best and most supportive in the state. I can I can guarantee you that. Um, I am also very thankful to have played my entire life in the state of Maine. I take pride in being a Maine kid and a Maine basketball player, and I know Maine hoops don't 
doesn't really get the respect that other states get, but <clears throat> I I know how many good players there are in the state, and I know that, uh, you know, we're tough. So I hope I am someone that younger players can look up to and continue to show Maine kids that they can achieve all the goals no matter what.